Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you needing to adjust camber on a front tire on a car. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that with that tool that just costs a few dollars guys and you can do it really good even though I will always recommend to go to a professional shop so they can do your front end alignment because if it's off you can act act actually get in an accident as well because your vehicle will not be steady guys and stable. So stay with us, we'll explain how we'll be using that cheap camber tool and we'll be able to set our all that will be covered in this video today before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you if you need to buy the tool any parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said first we're going to set the camber okay on the right side of okay or let's go on the left side on the passenger side both of them are a little bit off as you can see i checked online you can find your vehicle specs online you can see our camber is way more negative than it should have because we had a track day and we set it at more negative than it should and we need to uh, uh, actually bring it back to uh, what it used to be standard and for that fiat abart okay the specs are uh, it should be at uh, negative 1.5 okay it says or oh, between negative uh, 2 and negative uh, and uh, negative half so hours okay you gotta make sure that your camber 2 okay right here camber 2 is actually leveled right here because if i okay if i screw that screw check it out how it will tilt okay that tool will tilt so i need to make sure that it's completely level okay like that I'm going to place it on the rotor, okay, but you need to make sure you don't get the lip of the rotor between the worn points, it fits per perfect and ours, okay, ours is past 6 guys, all the way to, this, to 6, so right now it's a little bit over, okay, 6, I can see it right here, so it's about 6 and a quarter, so you need to remember that spec, why, we'll show you in a second, we need to uh, pre-loosen the wheel bolts the lug bolts we already did that now we're going to jack this side okay and always use jack stand so i'm going to bring a jack stand in a second you will see why and we'll show you guys okay how we are going to adjust that camber now and okay make it perfect because otherwise it can make the car unstable it can cause tar wear even though more negative camber usually turns the vehicle stable you still should be careful because it, it uh, uh, often changes the toe in toe out and that can affect uh, uh, actually your uh, 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 your alignment as well always guys use as i said always use uh, jack stands as well because if you don't if the the jack falls uh, like uh, once you when the jack breaks what will happen it will just crush you and fall on you so uh, don't do that. This is the tool. That's what it looks like. I want to show you pretty simple just a magnet Okay, and you'll see why we have the adjusting screw on the back in a little bit all that will be uh, Covered okay in this video. Uh, we're ready to pull the tire out. Okay, perfect now <coughs> Some vehicles you cannot just camber some you can't uh, now on ours on the strut You can on the bottom because we have the curve over but some uh, factory designs will allow you to do that as well depending on the vehicle you may have different design so if i look at it now check it out if i put the two now remember i was at point at, at uh, six and quarter negative now i'm okay uh, i'm not even here so uh, what we need to do now i need to get the screw okay and i need to go ahead and screw it in until that bubble comes to the position where it was okay in our position it was okay like that like that it was about six and quarter so you screw the bolt okay until you come let's say yours uh, when the car was leveled was at four you need to screw that bolt on the bottom until the camber comes at four okay and you need to set it there okay ours ours was six and a quarter so let me adjust it quick okay perfect just like that now we are going to pre-loosen the bolts for the camber on the back let's do that you might need to use a second wrench here it really depends on if yours are the locking type or not 
All right, now, what do we need to do? Okay, let me show you now. You need to grab, okay, you can see where, okay, let me, let me get it in, you can see how our board was, uh, came in, came out. So what do we need to do? Okay, we need to uh, push it in. So give me, give me a second. Okay, we need to get a 17 millimeter because one of them is still, uh, still actually tight. Okay, let me just hold it here on the back side. Hope it's not 17 on the back. On the back is actually probably oh, okay, 15 or 16, most likely 16. Okay, that's it. That's right there. Let's see now if we can push it in. Okay, no, it needs to come out. Okay, now we need to, okay, bring it to where factory it's supposed to be. Okay, we like to run a little bit more camber on ours. It says one and a half. What we will do, we'll keep it at around two. It's still in specs, but we do some auto crossing. So we'll keep ours at two and then we were going to adjust the toe in and toe out. But you can see the bubble now. Okay, is right here at two guys. So okay perfect it will just stay okay like that so you can see that definitely takes care of the problem all we have to do now get everything tight uh, get the bolts tight make sure it doesn't move install the wheel get it tight remove it from the jack guys and there is one more thing that you need to do make sure you stand till the end and uh, we will explain uh, what it is but practically you need to make sure you uh, roll the car a little bit back and forth and then use the gauge too because otherwise the car can sit a little bit funny because when you like the jack down okay the car was jacked up so everything will be twisted a little bit so you need to make sure you roll it one foot forward one foot backwards or even two three feet and uh, measure the angle again so we adjust ours at two all we have to do get the two bolts tight now so let's go ahead do that okay you need to find the torque specs for your specific model so i'm going to do okay hold here because it's uh, actually okay spinning the bolt so find the torque specs because every suspension has certain torque specs okay perfect and now the ones on the bottom let's go ahead do that i'm holding here and at that point the bottom is not spinning okay great what we have to do now guys okay we need to go ahead okay and install uh, the wheel we can remove that thing and what we're going to do we're going to level it now okay check it out now we will level it okay perfect just like that and we'll show you what else we need to do okay so we uh, got the wheel tight okay now we're going to let it down and next uh, we're going to move the car actually a couple feet and uh, we're going to continue with the next step okay so now we're going to go ahead we're going to start the car move it forward move it backward and we're going to check the angle again to make sure that everything is good okay perfect let's go back now great let's turn it off the steering wheel needs to be straight okay now move forward backwards a little bit and make sure the steering wheel is all the way straight when going back go back now okay perfect just like that okay now let's turn it off i want to show you that's what we had before you can check out the camber on this side okay how bad it is now let's come on this side and you can clearly see the improvement in the camber guys okay on this side so uh, what do we need to do now just get the tool let me grab it and we're going to put it on the wheel and check the angle now so if you come right here we're going to install the tool make sure it gets on the right side and we're okay let me get here right at two guys okay you can see i cannot get a really clear angle but we are right on two so that's how you guys said it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time